and I'm back. Welcome back again. I just finished a redo of a, a second version of a green geode and I said, you know what, I'm going to redo that blue one that I wanted to redo too. So I'm going to just do it right now real quick. 10 by 10 canvas again and I'm going to be filling this cup with the paints but with a slightly different blue mix than I did the first time and the cup's been sprayed with the WD-40 silicone spray and I'm just going to get right into it so I'm just tickling my nose and I'm going to again start with black but not too much did a good amount last time oh I'm running out and this is the brown metallic Oh yeah, I'm going to try something different with this one that I didn't do on the last one that I was going to, but I thought about doing, but I forgot, decided to be painting. I'll need all that you have left, brown metallic. It's gonna have to be it. And then this is the Frosted Bubbly by Art Minds. And that's the neighbor's dog. And this is what I'm gonna do different. I am actually going to just do a slight swirl in those. This is the Art Minds Mysterious that I love so much. It's one of my new favorite colors and it's a blue. Can you believe it? But it's an iridescent metallic. It's just so pretty. I used it in my Dutch pour. I used it in my cupcake pour, my St. Patty's Day one. So I went back to, and I still haven't labeled it, this is a couple of blue mixes, but it's mostly the blue sapphire, and I think I even call it something, <laughs> I think I call it blue ice, but it's the blue sapphire mix mostly. And it's a real vivid blue mix, real nice. And last time I used something else but this time I'm gonna try ending my light color even though it is a little bit darker um, but I like the way it dries is the Soho uh, blue manganese manganese blue hue as I like to say because it is lighter and I wanted a color that did pop a bit and then I think I'm gonna just start with a little bit and with a little bit of that mysterious again <clears throat> I know it might not look good, but I'm just trying to be really conscientious of my waist this lately. So again, I'm going to go outside in and then out and around when my other colors come up. Let's see that pretty mix of the two colors. There we go. I like that. I don't want to lose that. Round and around I go. Now comes the frosted bubbly. So I'm going to try to do larger rings this time because I do want that the blue mixes to show up. Oh, 
and these lines do stay <laughs> and they stretch out so if I see any really dark areas I will go and try to stretch them out again like I did with my second green one but I really like the look they give And then most of the paint comes out. Look, it's pretty pretty. Didn't go off this end, but I do tend to not start in the middle. I'm gonna just give it a quick torch for the air bubbles. Oops. I just filled it up in between paintings. <laughs> And you want to be about six inches away from your paint so you don't burn it. And I do lean back a bit. Always have a window open and my air purifier going. Look at the way the bubbly's coming up this time. All right. So. Oh, you know what I already see? I see some thicker black lines. And I did this with my last one. If you guys can see. I'm just going to stretch it out a little bit more. Doing some loop de loops. Because these lines will stretch out way bigger. I'm going to stretch it out and then see if I need to do any more adjusting. I already like the way the blue manganese, manganese blue hue looks. But and I think the blue sapphire would have looked as good too, but I didn't layer it right. It was the first one I did, so... Um, you know, you learn with the first one how things look and so pretty. It looks like my mysterious will show up a little bit more and it dries like a real nice deep metallic too so I'm hoping you'll really see the contrast which I'm not sure if you can see right now but the contrast in the blues seem to have a little bit less paint than I did before so I think I'm just going to add some of the blue sapphire around the edge just to make sure I don't have to overstretch my paint Such a pretty mix. Got a real nice shine of shine. I 
haven't needed to use a base in my other ones. I think I just didn't put as much as I was supposed to in the cup this time. A little bit of insurance. So let's see. I'm starting to really love this design, so I like I like every line, but let's see where did I leave my paint? Yeah, let's just go this way. The black lines look okay. I can string them out a bit if I need to. I really like the uh, I better go corner to corner. The abstract look of the lines of the black and the frosted bubbly. As I mentioned, it was a geode I saw that really kind of inspired me to try to recreate what I saw. So, sorry. Oh, I'm glad I added that extra around the outside. Round the outside, round the outside. <laughs> I think that's a buffalo gals. Go around the outside. Yeah, I'm really liking the manganese blue hue. It's a greater contrast, although I'm sure it's the uh, mixing with the lighter blue sapphire. I got rid of the other darker, which was the indigo with the iridescent medium. I think it was just maybe too, too many darks. Although I do love those colors too. Okay. I'm going to recenter my paint. The sides are looking kind of um, stretched. That's just because I didn't give myself enough paint this time. But look at how pretty that center blue is. You guys see that? Pretty that blue is. Oops, my oops got it with the blue. <laughs> really liking these designs the look of them it's just really cool and I get great cells from it so I got more colors coming up that I want to try
Although once I get through these first few, I probably stop and do other things. Got a whole like ten ideas all of a sudden. Sorry, I can't. I can't leave my oops like that. Uh, that have just been coming to me with my fun series, the experimental side of me this year. No emphasis on the mental. <laughs> anyway. I'm glad I'm doing this now, though, because it's a busy week. Busy week at work. It's a busy time of year until... Actually, our summer camp starts in June, too, so it's pretty busy all around. But until we get through our spring event and... Some service days and our end of year celebration for our students. It's just kind of crazy times. So I'm just going to torch this up a bit again. So you know the little more stretched out areas on the outside them, and the more they're a little bit separated in here. I'm wondering if that's from my little swirl of the black that I did, probably. But I like that look, too. Little bug, I got him now. I should have tried to burn him. But then he might have fallen into my painting. <laughs> So I've been having really bad allergies. I don't know if any of you suffer from allergies, but I think it's going to be a bad spring for all of us. All right. Perfect with my time just about. are so pretty. I'm really liking these. I'm glad I redid the blue. Although that first one's pretty. It's kind of deep. It's kind of a deep but cool blue. So if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the bell and you'll not get notified when I upload another video. Click like and share in your groups. Uh, leave a comment. I'd love to know your comments and hear from you. It's taking me a little bit longer than normal to respond sometimes, but like I said, it's just a busy time of year at work and, you know. So, this is my geode inspired dirty traveling pour. Redo of my blues. It's very pretty. And I hope you guys really like it because I really do. I'm going to mix, mess with it, try different beginning colors, although I really like, I could use a little bit more of the chocolate brown to show up. But yeah. That's why. It's so funny I say geode inspired, but it was what inspired me to do the first one. So, it's like a, it's like a web, web of blues. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on my next video, and I'm out. Bye.